there. I can't believe the uh, stories that are now coming out on this uh, on this meeting with Eric Holder. This meeting with Eric Holder yesterday, the Washington Post is reporting that uh, that Eric Holder said this: "A quote, we won't spy on you anymore." <laughs> Thank you. It's good to hear. One of the news media participants, Marty uh, Barone, the executive editor of the Washington Post, said the news executives told the uh, department officials that reporters were concerned about using uh, their email and concerned about using their office telephones. Barone said it was a constructive meeting. They expressed their commitment to the president's statement that reporters would not be at legal risk for doing their job. The bureau chief of the Wall Street Journal said in addition to the commitment to change the guidelines, there was also renewed commitment to support federal shield law for journalists. We diplomatically raised our concerns. I don't know what's going to happen, if anything, said Jim Warren, Washington bureau chief, New York Daily News. Who knows what's going to happen if they practice what they seem to preach and try to change some laws, but we still feel uh, they are very relevant. I think it's uh, sort of an opening gambit. There were some specifics talked about, more of a legal and statutory nature. You, what do you do? Have you read Garden of the Beasts? For the love of Pete, what's wrong with you <laughs> stupid people? Clearly, these people have not. They have not. They didn't heed your. They didn't hear. They, they didn't heed my suggestion. W- suggestion, my warning, mm-hmm. or my suggestion for a really good book. It's going to be a movie, supposedly. So <clears throat> maybe yeah, so they maybe they'll go to that. Come out, yeah. and they're going to be like, "Wait a minute." That's what Eric Holder was doing. You know, I don't think they'll come to that conclusion. No, I don't no. think so either. Hmm. They'll go, do you notice that Glenn Beck is an awful lot like Adolf Hitler? Mm. That's how it that's would, exactly, that's how it would that's go. That's exactly well, how it Well, I believe, would be, yeah. if I remember right, isn't it like Tom Hanks and like Natalie <clears throat> Portman in it? So, yes, yeah. that probably will be the way it comes down. Yeah. It'll, it, I mean, it'll just Garden be of the Beast is such, and you guys read it finally, but it's Garden, in of the the Garden of the Beast. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whatever. Well, you said it three times wrong, so I thought I'd step in before we got. Oh, out of is control. the beast going to appear because I said his name wrong three times? <laughs> um, <Never> it's, no, <laughs> it is. Uh, it, it is. It's. It's such a ridiculous um, uh, thing to dismiss history. We had a guy that tonight on television. Pat and I did, um, you know, a conversation with Glenn yesterday with college students that have just left college. They just graduated. And I had a you know opening twenty minutes with them, and I just uh, started. I asked them questions. So, what did you learn? What did you know? What what did you get out of college? Where are you going now? What what does it mean to be a citizen? Did anybody learn citizenship? What did you learn about America? Mm-hmm. Nothing. One of their college their their history professors history professors in Texas was an announced communist. Admitted to it. Yeah, told said, the whole class. Yeah, and, and everybody like it was like, a big scary thing. Ooh, I'm a communist, and everybody laughed in the class. Right. He said, "I'm a communist," and ooh, the commies are coming, and everybody laughed. Nobody got up and said, "Why would I learn American history from a communist?" Unbelievable. What is wrong with my university? How could you possibly expect me to pay for a world history class being taught by a communist? You mean, wait a minute, you mean the people who have burned books, who have distorted history, killed, those people? Killed over 100 million people in the last century. Oh my gosh. You mean those people? And, oh, and, yeah. And they said, you know, the, here's the thing. No, this guy who had the communist for a professor said, Glenn, how do we possibly fight people? How do we fight people? Because most people don't think that government is bad or scary because we're all being taught in school that government never goes bad. We're all being taught in school exactly what the president said when he gave his commencement speech. Where was that? Harvard? Where he gave his commencement speech and he said, you know, Mm -hmm. don't worry about tyranny. That doesn't happen. Those are old dusty ideas. I mean, you can't teach this without history. You you can't you can't you can't understand what's going on without without history. There is no time. I said to him. I think this was off the air. I said to him, "Ask what is the state of man? Does man always get better, or does man the the, the natural state of everything in the universe does it shake apart or does it build up? It decays." Everything decays. 
And so unless you are striving, unless you know what what the natural order is, just to hold it together is almost impossible. And nobody even knows what the natural order is. Nobody's even willing to talk about the natural order anymore. When we are living in a world in which the largest country on earth is living under tyranny currently. I mean, China, China is and in celebrated. the middle of a, uh, and a, celebrated. A, 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 a place where you can't have a certain amount of children. That's, that's current. That's not, this isn't, we're not talking about the 50s or the 20s. That's going on right now. Look at, the top, look at these. Li- I mean, China, obviously, that's a, a communist government that's tyrannical over its people. Uh, won't let you go on the internet. Blocks out free speech. I mean, uh, this is kills their own kills people. Their just own shoots people. them. Uh, it, by the way, has a TV show about executions. Did you know that? Yeah. One of their biggest TV shows is you know the Execution Hour, and they have people come on and they're like, "I stole a loaf of bread, and I should have known better, and I'm really, really sorry." And the end of the episode, boom, and it's their highest rated TV show, the Execution Hour. <laughs> 